please welcome the actress, producer, and activist, Ivana Sechno. A lot has been said. A lot will be said. Yet there is no way to convey what the invasion of your motherland feels like. This war is not only about Putin's desire to seize territory. This war is about those who suffer from his desires. This war is in those who had to flee their home, not knowing when they would be able to return. It is in the wounded villages and cities, in Mariupol, Bucha, Kharkiv, in Kherson. This war is in the child's eyes witnessing Russian soldiers breaking into their home, their father being shot, their mother raped. It's in the women's bodies. Ask one of those women what the invasion feels like. Ask a Ukrainian soldier what the invasion feels like. Ask a parent what it feels like to pull their lifeless child from the rubble. It's an invasion on so many fronts. One in the home, one in the heart, one in the body. It's a crime against natural justice and order. It's an affront to freedom. It's an affront to human decency. This past year has been one of immense pain it has also been one of resilience and victory. I am proud of my nation that stands against Mersul's evil when it attacks from all sides. I am proud of my people who were victorious in the battles of Kiev, Kharkiv, and Kherson. I am proud of my father who during the onset of the full-scale invasion was relocating orphans and families of soldiers from Kiev to safer parts of Ukraine and has since been documenting the war in the hottest regions of our country. We've been watching the birth of new icons, everyday Ukrainians, putting themselves in harm's way for the love of their people, love of freedom, and their motherland. The woman with the sunflower seeds, the ghost of Kiev, the soldiers of Snake Island, in just the first few hours of the full-scale invasion, Ukrainians etched powerful stories of nationhood into our collective history with their bravery, blood, and words. The history of our freedom has never been easy. Growing up, I remember the Orange Revolution. I remember the Revolution of Dignity. I also remember the occupation of Donbass and the annexation of Crimea where my grandmother lives, whom I have not been able to see ever since. Generations and generations of Ukrainians took part in revolutions and resistance, endured calamity once and again. We carry with us the stories of our predecessors sent to gulags and into exile. Today, we're forced to tell the stories of Ukrainian families sent to filtration camps, of children kidnapped and trafficked to Russia. Standing on our free land, we resist the Russian invasion. We die under artillery. And every morning, in the moment of silence, resurrect within us our fallen warriors of light. Ukrainians, though divided by colonial borders or subdued by authoritarian rule throughout history, have always been unapologetically united in their belief in Ukraine. Putin denies Ukraine and the international law, but everything Putin denies will inevitably bury him. We will never surrender. Our victory is inevitable. But the fight is not over. Each one of you standing here, Ukrainian and otherwise, is a vital part in ensuring this victory and the safety of all future generations in our home and yours. 
Ukraine's spirit is unchained and unshackled. Ukraine is love. Love of my life with a deep love for freedom, love for democracy, love for a united victory. Slava Ukraini!